All right, everybody, we are in December, which means November uh, real estate stats are out for Waterloo Region. We're going to take a quick dive into the numbers here. Still not on the uptick yet. We had another interest rate uh, hike from the Bank of Canada. So that's just going to continue to uh, just contribute to this pain that the market's been seeing right now. Uh, not a ton of opportunities for people who don't own homes yet because the interest rates are so high. Uh, let me just start to share my screen for the YouTube video here. YouTube and Facebook are going to get the screen share. And then for Instagram, I'm just going to overlay the presentation on top. Right. Let's make this big. November 2022, we have uh, average sale price across all residential property types was about $736,000. That's down 10% from this time last year and down 3.6% from last month. So uh, the year over year is a nice overhead view of kind of what the market's done over the last year. The month to month is kind of the more current trend. So we're still moving down as expected with these interest rates remaining as high as they are and obviously increasing as well. To the big picture here, I always like to tell, uh, especially people who are buying homes to live in, not as investments, you're want, you want to buy for at least five years. You could be buying the place that you want to stay in for 10, 15, or 20 years, that's great. But we want to focus on buying an opportunity that we're going to uh, hopefully live in for at least five years. So if we look back five years ago, the average sale price was about 442. Uh, these stats are from a different stats program that we have. So it's a little bit different from the average price numbers that you'll see, but pretty close. We're at 741 from, uh, from this data set. So if you bought for 442, five years later, you're selling for about 741. That's $300,000 in appreciation. You're probably pretty happy with that. Probably in a good space to refinance if you haven't taken out too much equity um, as you've lived in that home. So you'll be in good shape and market's going to go up and down. You can't really control that. You do need a roof over your head um, and it's a lot cheaper than renting um, still in Waterloo to have a mortgage. So uh, On to the detached houses, the average sale price was 838000 That's down 13% year over year, not great, uh, and down 3.5% month over month. Semi-detached, actually positive month over month growth, but we are down 9.4% year over year. That average price is 642000 And then we have townhomes at 618000 that's down 12% year over year, 2.6% from last month. And then on to our apartment style condos, average sale price still under that 500K mark that we broke through last year at 458. That's down 7.5% year over year and the most aggressive drop month over month at 6.2% uh, in these four categories that we track. So what are the action, rate, uh, action items here? Our interest rates, our interest rates increase going to increase. Uh, and we just learned yesterday or a couple days ago that they did in fact increase. Uh, two, some people are wondering, should I rent or should I buy, you know, since the market's down, we're expecting to see some more pain uh, in 2023, 2024. That's a different story. I think you're going to want to buy a house before the beginning of 2024. Uh, but for 2023, it might make sense to do a year rental and start looking, um, you know, when interest rates start coming down the following year. And then, of course, for those that don't really need to take on a huge mortgage, there will be holiday opportunities for the buying side of things. There's always going to be people selling out of necessity. Uh, it's a sad situation when that happens, whether it's, you know, uh, split up or uh, financial reasons that are causing that. But uh, those typically will become an opportunity to get a better deal than somebody who's selling just because they want to, you know, change their lifestyle. Uh, those people are, are usually more picky on their price, a little bit more stubborn. People who have to sell out of necessity obviously can't uh, 
use that as a leverage point. It's actually something that forces them to, to look at less, uh, uh, less desirable deals than they were hoping for. So what does this all mean for you? Well, that's a good question. It's going to be very specific on what's going on uh, with your finances, with your life, what your plans are. And if you have questions about that, I'd be happy to chat with you. My number is 519-497-5923. You can shoot me a quick email, curtis.ja.ball at gmail.com. Uh, there's no commitment to asking some questions to me and getting uh, some advice. Um, and then if we're going to work together, uh, we'll discuss kind of what the commitments would be on that side of things. But, um, you know, as a, a buyer representative, you don't have to worry about paying out of pocket. So it's always good to have that extra advice from somebody who not only owns their own home, but has been buying and selling real estate with clients uh, for close to five years now. So I'd ha be happy to share my expertise with you and uh, try to make the most out of kind of a rough time in the economy right now. And, uh, you know, if you've studied business at all, these are the times when people can make jumps in uh, their financial wealth and take advantage of uh, kind of a more, uh, you know, depressive market where some people are, are holding back or sitting back or, uh, not trying to make moves because they're in fear. Uh, this is probably the time that you want to put your work boots on and, and start making some moves for when inevitably, inevitably the market's going to flip. So we will be back on the rise one day. 2023 might not be the year that it happens, but I expect by 2024, there should be more optimism uh, in the real estate market.